Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please stop bringing your baggage from your past relationship into the new relationship. Unless you want it to be a short trip. You see, the problem is in most new relationships, people let their past rob them from experiencing something new and potentially everything that they've been looking for in a partner. You know, when I was younger, I always thought that emotional baggage was a bad thing. But later on, I actually realized that that's not necessarily true. It means having the capacity to carry past experiences and learning from them, which is a healthy and necessary tool, right? But there's a point when this baggage becomes too much and it can have a really bad impact on your current relationship. And one of them is the inability to become emotionally available. That will literally stop you from being open to new experiences, such as intimacy and growth. And without that, you ain't gone nowhere. So how do we unload this emotional backpack? See, it's the way we choose to handle our emotional baggage that makes the difference. We have the choice to let it define us or to let it go and move forward. You know, too often we get caught up in the blame game. See, we blame new lovers for the things old lovers said and did. We project those old patterns and habits onto the fresh and new because it's common nature for us, right? We get stuck in this routine where we walk through this revolving door without actually allowing ourselves to get out. And what we fail to realize is we're actually burying past pains and hurt deeper inside of us. The only way to change is to pull the root out of the ground. Because we're not just hurting ourselves, we're hurting the other person too. Don't allow that baggage to drag you both down. If you allowed yourself to become a victim of someone's negative ideas and toxic thoughts about you, and you bring that baggage into a new relationship, you're basically telling them that they still have control over you. Are you really going to give them that satisfaction? If you're unable or unwilling to recognize and acknowledge what kind of baggage or self-defeating tendencies you bring into the relationship, I can tell you right now it ain't going to last. You have to be willing to own up to your own baggage in order to have a shot at overcoming it. The journey is inevitable, but the baggage is optional. Now don't get me wrong, everyone has some sort of baggage going into a new relationship, but the key is, is to pack lightly and find a good person that can help you unpack. I've always loved this quote, if you carry old bricks from your past relationship into the new one, you'll end up building the same house that fell apart before. Do yourself a favor and leave your baggage at the door before it destroys something or someone you could have never imagined life without.